David Levy here. Happy Memorial Day. Uh, I've got a CAD release, or rather an STL release, for this Creality CR10 users. It's a new filament sensor. Uh, it Ideally, you want to point it at 0 0.06 micro, microns. And uh, this is the first version, which is not the greatest. There's a couple of things that I'm going to change for a version that I'll, I'll put up for download, which I'll have a thicker... Um, uh, X-bar cable holder there and a little bit thicker here so it doesn't snap so easily when pulling off the support. So the, how this works is uh, instead of instead of having a sensor that just whenever the filament comes out it just you know just pops up like this this just snugs right on just like that and look at that it's not going to go anywhere you don't even have to bolt it although I did include a bolt hole on the bottom, and then the X bar cable or the extrusion or the uh, hot end cable can go right here. So uh, it is a little difficult to print at uh, 60 micron. So you're gonna have to get your Creality CR 10 S dialed in really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and show you the inside. What you do is you put it in like this and then line up the back two holes visually as best you can, like that, and then just slide it in and press down. If you do this and it goes in properly, you'll have no PCB sticking up above the edge. And uh, once you have this printed, there's one other thing that you should do and you should get this before you start printing this and that's an M3 tap. The M3 tap will allow you to tap these holes for the same screws that come with your CR-10S filament sensor, which are these. And once you tap them, they're gonna go in and bite and actually cinch this lid down really well. Also, you'll be able to see here that you still get the light through two holes on the front and back of your CR-10S, or this new CR-10S filament sensor. So, and it goes, the filament should go through a lot easier. So that's it for the video. This is the new uh, CR-10S filament sensor I've designed, and I am releasing it under Creative Commons, no derivatives, non-commercial attribution. And the reason for that, with a modification where, uh, for people that I feel are abusive towards the uh, license that I can revoke that license the only exception um, and that's just to keep honest people honest but uh, if you need a license to include this in a kit uh, for commercial purposes just contact me contact me on LinkedIn on Twitter the links will be below in the video um, I've already designed some legs here that um, I like they use some squash balls these will be available on an STL on uh, Thingiverse soon just like my uh, filament sensor upgrade and uh, there's some other things too about the CR-10S. I know I should end this video by now, but my uncle is an engineer and I, uh, I talked with him about this machine and he's gonna help me design a new machine that'll do both 3D printing and CNC. However, uh, a couple of things to note, as, I, as he told me, and since he's an engineer, was that one, with this CR-10S, this is the this is a kid's toy basically. It is a great, it's the number one entry level 3D printer at 600 bucks. It's a workhorse, however, everything about this design uh, is not good design. And I can go into about that in the printer and it's not even really worth severely upgrading this printer to, for example, putting the motors on the Z on the top and switching it to a ball screw, uh, putting linear rails on the X bar, on the Z, and linear rails on the Y bed. Doing all of that, and, and but one of the things that is worth doing is switching all the pulleys with flanges to pulleys with teeth. Um, because you're not, te you're actually engineering wise, you are not supposed to use round pulleys with tooth belts. Uh, for various reasons. I can go on that, go about that in the video. But that's it. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye-bye.